out here today with Aspen and uh, going to show you some of her basic obedience and some of her issues. Very common and so many young dogs, uh, you know, really used to pulling the leash and going any direction that she would like to go and she's learning here not to pull, keep a nice loose leash. Uh, she's also a very sensitive dog so you got to work with that. Every dog is different that we train here. And so the sensitive ones, you know, she was a little timid of, you know, for instance, uh, wood floors or certainly wood steps. So again, looking for a loose leash, nice response to the commands, very basic obedience, and as soon as there's a response, we're going to reward those positive behaviors. So we have to keep it very up for her. Good girl. Keep the tempo up, but at the same time, no extracurricular jumping or pulling. And as soon as she sits, we'll give her her good girl. It's right there. And I'm not looking for that praise to be a trigger. Just a very nice pet and calming. Look right on my side. Hi, oh, Aspen. Good girl. Aspen, heel. Good girl. Good girl. Go. Go here. Aspen. Good girl. Heels right at her side. Any speed, fast or slow. We'll have her sit. Good girl. And I'm not going to step on her anything, but I like her right at my side. I'm watching for that premature jump right up right there. That's her issue. That's her keeping control. The timing of calling her on her butt jump right there. Just put her right back down and give her a good girl, but we're not going anywhere. Aspen's in a hurry. We're going to slow it down. Good girl. Come on. Sit. And she'll get released. Good girl. And I want to hold this. I want to be able to drop it. Doesn't mean do anything different. Just a good girl. Two pats on the hip. Good girl. Keeping it all friendly. That's it. I want her to be attracted to me and not repel from me. So if I see her wincing or acting a little scared about things, sit. Now I want to be able to approach her. It doesn't mean move her butt. So that's good. We practice coming in and out. Doesn't mean go anywhere. Good girl. I want to be able to say good girl. Doesn't mean get excited and go anywhere. Just means hang out and pay attention. So if we require her attention to stay with me, I'm looking for that nice eye contact for five or ten minute sessions, we're going to change this whole dog's disposition around to being a really nice dog to be with. Just a real sweet love. Now to release our session we just say, okay, okay Aspen, good girl. Good girl. Now we're off command and we just want this leash loose. We're going to walk with the loose leash. girl. So off command, we're looking for one rule, just keep it loose, I like Aspen to kind of follow me. Hi girl. I do a little check-ins right there. Not Aspen. But we do lots of direction changes to show her walking with me, going with me rather than pulling me wherever her nose might take us. Good girl. Any hesitation, we don't stop. We've got to keep moving. She would like me to stop. Good girl. And again, the worst of it is she's getting lots of good girls. Make it someone you want the dog to be with. Good girl, she followed me around. This is how we changed from me getting pulled around to her keeping this loose. Good girl, Aspen. Good girl, good girl. That's sort of a MO not to maybe do this. Deliberate avoidance techniques. It's just every dog's different. She, every dog has their list of avoidance techniques. So we're just gonna work right through that. And again, she's off, all done. So if I want to release her and the coast is clear, we can unhook her. Give her a good girl and say, okay, go ahead, good girl, I'm done. Good girl.